One question that I get from a lot of people who want to indie publish their book is, is KDP and Amazon easy to use or is someone who is not very tech savvy going to have a problem with it? And I want to say that even the non tech savvy can do it. All right. So if you have an Amazon account, it's going to be super easy to get a KDP account. You can use your same Amazon login to set it up so that your accounts will be linked, which will be very helpful for you when you go to off order author copies of your books, because it will just add them to your cart and just take you there. So you'll log in with your Amazon ID and there are step-by-step -step instructions from KDP. So the front page will tell you about, so you can choose, do you want Kindle Vela? Do you want KDP? So that you select the right platform that you're going to sell on. And all of them are linked together. So I don't have any Kindle Vela stories published, but should I choose to do one, I just have to click and that will take me to the platform from my bookshelf or page. Okay. So let me speak to that really quickly. When you, um, set up your account that is where you will always go is to the bookshelf page which will show you all your books what um, format they're in and what stage of the process are whether they're published or draft or um, pending approval or whatever the status is for them so um, when you set it up you will need your social security number or a tin tax id number for your business if you're selling your books through your business uh, business name, like a partnership or corporation. And you'll also need baking information because you're going to want to get paid. So you'll need baking information and they want to direct deposit to a bank account. If you want a physical check, they will wait until you've earned at least a hundred dollars, I think is what it is before they'll send you a check. So for me, that might be a few months, maybe for you, that would be every week. All right. So when you open it, after you've set everything up and you've entered those things, because that's really all you need, um, <clears throat> you'll be on the bookshelf page and you'll say, hey, yes, I want to set up a book. And it will walk you through. It's a three screen process. So the first process is all the metadata. And I, I suggest that you read some articles. Um, Amazon KDP has a lot of information about the metadata camp categories, ISBN, all that stuff that you will need to know for that page, the information that goes on that first screen that you fill out for your book. So do a little bit of reading on that. If you want to possibly sell your books in a bookstore, then I suggest purchasing your own ISBN numbers. And I have done that. And you just, I got mine from Boker, B-O-W-K-E-R. Um, so I don't know if they're the only people who sell, um, IVSBN numbers, probably not. So you purchase 10, um, I think it was $150. So they're $15 each might be more now. Um, so you have that list of ISBNs that you can use for the books as you publish them. If you're only going to publish on Amazon, then they couldn't, can assign you an ISBN number for your paperback card back. If you choose to do those additions. And you don't need an ISBN for the Kindle because they will only use their um, number for the Kindle version of your book. So on the second screen, as you're setting things up, that's where you're going to actually upload your book's manuscript and the cover or create the cover using their creator program, which is okay, not great. And it's probably, if you're not a designer and you don't have really good graphics, it's probably going to look like um, you aren't a designer and don't have really good graphics. So you can get a really great uh, cover um, from a designer, a graphic designer on Fiverr for between $25 and $50. So I would suggest that if you're trying to cut corners on cost. Um, but if you really want your book to sell, having a professional cover is really important. So that's where you upload that on that second screen. And it's the content screen and it will say, it's going to be an approval process and it will ask you to look in their previewer or you can order a proof of a print book later or you can download um, a PDF to view it on your computer. 
I would recommend that. I mean, you can go look at the previewer that they give on screen, but it doesn't always accurately reflect what the file really will show. So I would say um, definitely download the PDF and view it on Adobe or some other thing where you can see the two page view. So you know exactly what page of your print book, especially things are gonna appear on. So then on the third screen of the setup is the pricing for your book. And there you get to, it will explain all about the um, different royalty times 35% or 70%, or if you're expanded just distribution 40% or 60%. And they will have all of the markets in the worlds that they, where Amazon sells, where they can sell, where you can sell listed on there. And when you enter your price in dollars or Canadian dollars, if you're a Canadian, um, they will go ahead and automatically populate it what that equals in those other currencies at the time. And so most of the time I just leave those and let those stay. I have sold books on uh, UK and Canada as well as um, the US uh, site. I think when I originally sold, I also sold quite a few in Australia, but those English speaking places, still, I don't know what their currency is. So I just let Amazon reflect that. And of course, when they pay me, they're going to convert it back to dollars and deposit it in my account anyway. So three pages, you're done. It says, do you want this save as a draft or do you want to publish your book? And if you're ready and you say publish because you've looked at your proof and you know it's awesome, then it, they will give you a screen saying it can take up to 72 hours for this to be reviewed. And if they find problems, then they will email you at your email address that you registered with to let you know what the problems are that they find and how you should go ahead and change it. Now, the other thing that Amazon op offers is an author, author central page. So you can have a page for these in every single market that you sell to. So for myself, I really need to go to the UK one and the Canada one and make sure that they are uh, appearing the way I want them to and have all the information I want them to because, um, Amazon just populates those, however, based off your the information that you enter. And they recently changed what they put on that. And so I didn't realize that. And so my page wasn't really even showing some of the stuff that I wanted shown. So make sure you keep that up to date with the fairly current author photo and bio, a biography and that you have one for all the major markets where you're planning to sell your books. So there you go, as easy as one, two, three pages, and you can have your manuscript ready to be sold on Amazon.